Hi everyone, this is May Park. Welcome to another Hero Arts video. Today I'm going to show you how to create a point shaker card featuring the ombre background with stamped images. For today's project, I'm going to use the Fresh Earth stamp set, Thanks Stamp and Cut, and Champagne Sequin Mix from Hero Arts. Here are a variety of sequins from Hero Arts. Each pack contains unique mix of colors, sizes, and shapes. These are great for shaker cards and as a pop of color to embellish any card. I'm cutting down my white cardstock into 4 and a quarter inch by 5 and a half inches out of Hero Arts snow layering paper using Timor's paper trimmer. I'm going to start ink blending using Hero Arts pink to red ombre ink and mini blending tool. I'm tapping color off of the paper first before adding it to my paper directly to prevent from having harsh lines. Then I'm inking toward the top of my white panel with light color first. I placed a piece of print paper underneath my project to protect my work area. However, you could use Ranger Craft Mat if you want to. The mat has a slick surface, so it's easy to clean. I'm also using Hero's Cotton Candy ink to ink the color on the entire background. Your ink blending might look splotchy in the beginning, but once you keep blending with inks, the background will smoothen out once it's dry. Then I'm going to apply the medium color from Hero's Ombre Pink to Red ink in the middle of my panel. To get a better result with ink blending, I prefer to use an old blending foam rather than using a brand new foam. I'm also moving my ink blending tool in a circular motion to prevent leaving harsh lines from the edge of the blending foam. I'm placing a post note underneath my right hand because I don't want to pick up some ink from the inked background and transfer it to different colored background. I will overwrap ink blending between each color to create a smooth color transition. I'm going to mix the darkest color from pink to red ombre ink and strawberry bold ink from Hero Arts to finish up my ombre ink background. I'm going to keep applying ink to smoothen the harsh lines. Once my ink blending is done, I'm going to dry my panel with heat tool to make sure the inked background is completely dry. You can just set it aside to air dry if you want to. I'm going to pull out the medium size die from Hero Arts Nesting Hearts Infinity Die Set and place the die and secure it on my inked panel using washi tape so it don't move while die cutting. After placing my die and paper between cutting plates, I'll be running them through my Spellbinder's Splatinum Diker Machine. It's now time to create my own background. I'm placing my inked panel inside my mist stamping tool and I'm using magnets to hold the paper in place. I'm pulling out my stamps from Fresh Herb Stamp Set. I'm going to ink up the stamp with Hero Arts Strawberry Bold Ink. Then I'm closing the mystic cover to stamp it onto my paper. Since I didn't get a good impression, I'm going to stamp one more time to get an intense color. I'm stamping the images along the bottom of my panel first with the darkest color and continue stamping toward the top of the panel with the lightest color. By the way, I'm using a small plastic tray to store my stamps in one place. That way, I can find them quickly and I can also prevent from losing them while I'm working on my project on my messy desk. Now I'm going to turn on some music and speed up the process. I'll be back once I'm done stamping. I'm cutting out a seed of Hero Arts acetate, smaller than my card panel, but large enough to cover my heart window. Then I'm going to glue a piece of acetate seed on the back of my stamped panel. I'm mounting a piece of gold glitter paper on the 8 size top holding white card base using alternate glue tape. 
I'm trimming my 3M foam tape into a thin strip and attaching it along the heart window. And I'm also putting down 3M foam tape on the back of my stamped panel. To add a dimension to your shaker window box, you could use a double-sided foam sheet if you want to. After placing champagne thickened mix over my stamped panel, I'm going to mount my stamped panel over the gold card base. It's now time to open my sentiment. I'm going to pull out the die from Hero's Thanks Stamping Cut and I'll be die cutting the word 7 times out of white cardstock and mounting them together to make it thick using a glue pen. Making a chipboard sentiment takes time, but it creates big difference once you place it on your card because it adds extra dimension and interest to your sentiment. Then I'm going to do the die cut word in the middle of my shaker window using a glue pen. To add some interest to my shaker box, I decided to add some dash lines along the heart window using a white gel pen. I'm going to pull out the sentiment from Hero's Thanks Stampin' Cut. I'm prepping a piece of black cardstock with anti-static powder bag to prevent any stray powder from sticking to unwanted areas while heat embossing. I'm going to ink up my stamps with a birthmark watermark ink and stamp them on the paper. While the ink is still wet, I'm going to sprinkle some Hero Arts fine detail white embossing powder over the sentiments and tap the excess powder off my paper. I'm going to preheat my embossing tool for about 10 seconds until it reaches its maximum temperature. Then I heat them my sentiments until they are completely melted. Next, I'm going to trim my sentiments into a thin strip using a craft knife and ruler. Then I'm going to mount the sentiment strip banner below my die cut word using 3M foam tape. To add a style and flare to my background, I was going to add some gold sequins. Then I changed my mind and I'm going to apply some dust using Nuvo Drops White to finish off my card. That's all for today. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and my card inspired you to create a shaker card with ombre stamped background. If you have any questions, please leave comments below and I'd be happy to answer them for you. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel so you don't miss any new video from me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time with another video. Bye bye!